Can you say hi guys? Hi. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Erin and Liv here, and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. So we have been talking with so many other families and friends, especially our friends with young kiddos, and it seems like everyone has come down with this cold that they cannot kick, including ourselves. So over the past month or so throughout the holidays, we have been steeped in all of our favorite recipes and remedies to help support our immune systems, and we thought it might be helpful to share them with you guys. I highly recommend, especially if you're trying to combat some kind of cold or flu, that you first start with hydration. So we always start with 32 ounces of fresh filtered water. You can add lemon if you enjoy it. And then we're gonna move into a really, really good zinger that's going to cut down on all of that nasally congestion. It's gonna give you an instant jolt of energy, ginger turmeric shots. I think it's important to note that the kids have had their fresh fruit and waffles and smoothies. Dusty and I have still not had anything except our water. We're gonna jump right into these ginger turmeric shots and we're also gonna be adding in some cayenne and black pepper. The black pepper helps to unlock the turmeric's potential. So turmeric contains curcumin, which is fantastic at fighting inflammation and it's highly helpful for combating cancer cells. Cayenne is gonna help clean some of that sinus yuckiness out. Ginger is another of our favorite anti-inflammatory foods and lemon. Lemon is fantastic for cutting down on mucus. It's super high in vitamin C, so it is a must for these shots. So Aaron <laughs> is saying we have really come a long way since college. We've come a long way since college. We're no longer doing tequila shots. Now we're doing ginger turmeric shots. So if you guys wanna have fun with these shots, grab a friend or a partner, and here's what we're gonna do. Lick your hand, and instead of doing the salt, we're gonna do the cayenne. So you're gonna lick the cayenne, Take your ginger turmeric shot instead of your tequila shot, oh, and then instead of following it with the lime wedge, follow it with a lemon wedge. Yeah, this is gonna be brutal, you guys. <laughs> I hate spicy things. Oh. Oh. Whew. Okay, that was painful. I had to blow my nose after that, but that's yeah. kind of the point. It really like clears the sinuses, yes. clears the mucus, the chest, the throat, like. Whew. And it's like a zinger. Good. It gives you like such a little jolt of like energy. Yeah, it does. And it like warm, creates this like fire in your belly. It's yeah. really good. That seriously just like cleared me out. It was good. Me too. Good. Say cheese. Cheese. Yummy waffle. Okay, so yeah guys. Well, the kids have had their waffles and a super yummy breakfast. Aaron and I are, well, we're pretty much starving to be honest with you. Yeah, so we're gonna make our green juice now, go do a workout, and then we've got an epic dinner recipe for you guys. So we don't do juices every day. To be honest, we usually start with a smoothie, but we'll throw in one or two juices throughout the week like we are today, just to give our bodies an extra boost. But even so, starting with smoothies is still a very good way to ease back in to eating after you've done a fast. But again, we've gone through phases where we do fasting and don't do fasting, but being sick lately has just felt right to start eating later in the day. Dusty and I have always noticed that whenever we're really dialed in with our intermittent fasting, then we sleep so much better, our digestion improves, our energy and mood levels improve in the morning, and we just feel healthier and more alert. Maybe you've noticed whenever you've come down with a really nasty bug, your body already tells you, I'm not hungry. Honestly, right now it's 11.30 a.m. and we have not eaten anything yet. Typically, we like to stick between 12 and 13 hours. We're usually eating the same amount of calories while we're intermittent fasting. Our window of time where we eat those calories is just smaller than it would have been way back in the day before we started this habit. So aside from being crazy good for your immune system and keeping you energetic and healthy, Fasting can also work wonders if you're trying to lose weight, burn fat, stabilize your blood sugar levels, and increase your longevity. So when you're in the fasted state, your cells can regenerate and renew a lot more efficiently. So we're not talking about extended fasting or starving yourself. It's still important to maintain adequate nutrition 
no matter what. If you're new to intermittent fasting or you need a helping hand, we'd highly recommend checking out the Do Fasting app. What Dusty and I love most about the Do Fasting app is that it breaks everything down for you and makes it really simple and straightforward. It gives you continual reminders as to when to fast and when to eat and what your windows are, you can adjust. So if you're wanting to start out with a 12 hour fast and a 12 hour eating window, and then over time, maybe you can increase it to 14 hours of fasting and 10 hours of eating. You can track everything from fitness. It has all kinds of great recipes in there and meal plans hydration trackers, and tons of research articles related to intermittent fasting as well. Do Fasting is currently offering up to a 75% discount for all fasting plans, and with our special code linked in the description, the first 100 people can get an extra 10% off their first subscription. So tap the link below in the description to start your fasting journey with Do Fasting. The main thing, like Aaron mentioned before, is eating earlier at night. It helps with sleep. It helps to just calm down and get your body into the rest and digest mode. So yes, we're adding two cloves of garlic to our all-time go-to favorite green juice recipe. This is totally optional, but the reason garlic is so amazing for your immune system is that it promotes your white blood cells' ability to attack bacteria, funguses, viruses, all that junk head on. So it has immense antiviral, antifungal properties, and that's why we're gonna add it in. So if you don't wanna do this, just always remember, every time you're sauteing your onion and garlic to go in whatever recipe you're making, it is doing your body good. The reason we always opt for green juice, especially when we're under the weather, is because green juices and green fruits and vegetables are highly alkalizing. When we're talking about reducing inflammation and boosting immunity, we need to look at being in an alkaline state as opposed to an acidic state. It's really difficult to combat acidity just because of everything in our environment. So many free radicals that we're constantly exposed to from mold and pollution and toxins in the environment. So if we can constantly be alkalizing our systems, then it's going to keep our immune system strengthened. So in this recipe, we're gonna have cucumber, dino kale, a little bit of curly kale, and collard greens, celery. Outside of the garlic, if you also wanna bolster your green juice with more immune boosting ingredients, I highly recommend adding an herb. Our two favorites are cilantro or parsley. Cilantro in particular is great for chelating heavy metals. So this is gonna be a powerhouse of a juice. Okay, so the green juice is Garlicky. I feel like I'm gonna have garlic breath for like a month now, but <laughs> we talk about it. we squeezed a little bit of lemon in to combat it. But sometimes these things are essential. I mean, if you don't want to be on antibiotics and all these other you know drugs, sometimes you have to do these natural things that are quite potent to work. Another thing that Erin's been talking about is oregano oil. So oregano she actually just read, was used in a study side by side with antibiotics and it outperformed the antibiotic in regards to killing the virus, so. It's extremely, extremely high in antioxidants. There yeah. are a few essential oils that we use from time to time. For the most part, we do not use them internally, but we have been experimenting and finding a little bit of relief with them. Totally. Other things that we do, we drink so many so teas. So many herbal teas. So we have always been big fans of sleepy teas and teas that are very relaxing, anti-anxiety, de-stressing, yep. help you sleep. But lately, we've been all about the immune support, immune boosting, congest away, throat coat teas, <laughs> yeah. lemon, ginger, turmeric teas to fight that inflammation. For example, these Numi teas are some of our favorites. We have been guzzling the elderberry syrup whenever yeah. we've had colds and flu. That's a good one for the kiddos because it's easy for them to get down. It always tastes so sweet and so good. Double up, triple up on vitamin D and vitamin C. Yep, another thing I will mention is zinc. We also like this one from Sun Warrior. It's called Silver Strength. This is loaded with fulvic minerals. It contains 
silver and gold, which if, you, if you've never taken like colloidal silver, right. you should definitely try it. These are great for immune support. And then I also found this immune fortifier. This one is a good one to drop in your kiddo's water. Max very willingly takes this. I've been putting it in my water bottles too. This is one final one I'll mention. Amla Green, so they have an immunity blend that contains elderberry, vitamin C, D, and zinc. So yep. Amla is well known for its high vitamin C levels on its own. Yeah. And it's also amazing at lowering cholesterol. But this one you can either sprinkle in smoothies or make a tea out of it. So again, we're not overloading our systems or bombarding them with all of these things at once, but it's more of like an intuitive thing and just right. kind of see what feels best, what sounds best to you and stay consistent with whatever it is that you try. So we've got a really good recipe coming for you guys tonight. Yeah, it's, it's our so favorite good. like cold weather, feeling under the weather type of recipe. Erin's mom actually has always made it and we started copying it, adding a few of our own little things in there that you guys are gonna love. So this soothing and warming quinoa vegetable soup is a longtime favorite of mine. It seems like every time we go home to my parents' house, this is on the stove top. My mom is famous for it. And it always hits the spot, especially when you're feeling under the weather, or if you're simply looking for a recipe to support your immune system and give you a little boost. It is loaded with all kinds of vitamins and minerals, every color of the rainbow, so many veggies, and a little bit of protein thanks to the quinoa. Ingredients like onion and garlic that are antibacterial and antiviral and help to clear the sinuses, as well as ginger, which is highly anti-inflammatory and fantastic for digestion. We've got the veggie broth for added minerals. You guys have to try this. It is so, so good. So for this recipe, you're going to need one sweet yellow onion, three to four cloves of garlic, three stalks of celery, three medium carrots. We're also gonna add in one red bell pepper, two small zucchinis, two to three medium to large sweet potatoes. You can add as many of these as you like. Some other fun ingredients you can try are bok choy or spinach diced up. Throwing that in last minute would really be delicious. Or some mushrooms for added immune support as well. So we're gonna start out with just a splash of vegetable broth in our pot and we're gonna saute our onion, garlic, and ginger, as well as our celery and carrots sliced into small pieces. I would recommend keeping the seasonings light and simple, just salt and pepper to taste, and a dusting of curry powder or turmeric for, again, an added anti-inflammatory immune boost. If you don't wanna go the curry flavor route, you can also just use a simple all-purpose seasoning. I also like to always add in a couple of bay leaves. When those start to cook, then we're going to add in the rest of our vegetable broth. We're gonna chop our sweet potatoes into small cubes and add those as well, and one cup of rinsed quinoa. Once that gets to a rolling boil, reduce it to medium. Then we're just gonna let it simmer until everything is nice and tender and the flavors have had some time to combine. If you're looking for an added boost of protein, I'm also soaking some chickpeas from dry on the countertop. So I'm gonna pop those in the Instant Pot and then we're gonna add those in as well. You can find this recipe and so many more like it on the Eat, Move, Rest recipe and meal planner. Be sure to check it out, linked below in the description. Maybe if you're feeling under the weather, some of these recipes will come in handy for you. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, join the Eat, Move, Rest fam, leave us some love in the comments, let us know what piece of advice or what recipe helped you the most. Until next time, Eat, Move, Rest, your best. Bye guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.